So actually this correspond to an isotropic protein for the zirconia. So I edit the zirconia, I go to microstructure, and I can select uh, an anisotropic size time model like POPA. Okay. Uh, now I have a certain number of coefficients. I use a you should read the paper of Popa. I click on the tab here. The paper of Popa is this one where the theory is reported. Okay. Um, here I use a, a, an expansion in harmonic up to four, and the coefficient for the microstrain are just uh, four for this uh, space group. Okay. Now I want to refine. Uh, all these so I can use uh, or uh, below here or I prefer to open uh, a little bit bigger window over here where I can specify expand all and then I check down here in this window every parameter uh, grouped by object every parameter refinable parameter is reported every one in this analysis so actually you see what was uh, refined by the program automatically okay so i can go to the zirconia here and go down i found the popa rules so this is the model of popa and i click on the object and i said refine so every parameter in uh, that object is put has refined Okay, here you can manually change and decide for every parameter. So what is reported here is the value of the parameter, minimum and maximum. These are just bound, but uh, are only used in certain uh, minimization algorithms like the genetic one or uh, uh, Monte Carlo, not, uh, not in the least square, okay? The error, the standard deviation, has computed by the program. The status, if it is refined, the three status are fixed, so the program does not change it. Refine, so this is will be optimized in the least square or whatever algorithm you are using. And the output is simply the, in mode you can put in output uh, uh, and decide here which parameter you want to put in. Okay, the output is over here. You append the result to. Okay, the simple result are for some. He the program uh, takes some uh, defined parameter and the append result to. I will show in another tutorial how to use this one. Uh, okay, now uh, we can try to refine. A little bit uh, so actually he starts from bigger uh, because we actually uh, start from uh, random parameter for, uh, for it okay the weight sumo square was going lower as we expect because we actually use more parameter than before and the rw is actually 9.3 from 10 and you should check also the one without the background, 7.6, so this one is very good. Actually, the background here is very low. And, okay, the weight percent didn't change too much, okay? And you see the 75 and 25 is just uh, nearly inside the, the error, the estimate standard deviation, okay? If you take three times, as usual. Okay, now the residuals are a little bit better. If I want to refine also the structure, I can or manually uh, change, uh, decide which parameter I want to refine, or I can ask the program to help me. So remember, this was the wizard before we have done a quantitative analysis. So this was doing first the background scale parameter refinement, then he had some basic phase parameter like sub parameter, two theta displacement, okay? And he was finding also the microstructure parameter, the third step. So first step is everything concerning intensity. Second position of the peak. Third is line broadening. Okay, so profile. Now, 
if I want to do, because I have already done this three step, I can go directly to the four step here and refine also the crystal structure parameter. So this corresponds also to a ritual refinement. I can say go, so this will start a direct iteration, or I can just set the parameter, then I can go here in the parameter list, expand all, check what which parameter the program put has refinable. Okay, here a big list, and I can change whatever I want to change if I don't like something. So you can see, for example, for the tetragonal zirconia, the program decides to refine only the Z position for the oxygen. This is the correct thing to do. Okay, now I close and I press this button, this launch the refinement. So it corresponds to here refine. Okay, so remember this is only to compute the spectrum based on the actual parameter. This is to refine, to optimize the parameter. So five iteration, you can change live at this one. Well, actually, I think we can just do three iteration. We don't need uh, more than this uh, for this, this demonstration. Okay, and you see it was just going a little bit down. Now we are below nine, okay. And then you can revise whatever you think. Okay, look at the residual here. You see the residual are all nearly all inside the statistical error, especially at high angle. Only few peaks have a, a little deviation here. Okay, uh, now, uh, last thing to do is I want to save this analysis so I can load and revise or whatever later. So I, I save analysis has uh, this corresponds also to press this shortcut button here. So I save analysis has, uh, I do not want to uh, um, overwrite this default part when I start a new one because it's a a file that is used at the beginning. If I overwrite that one, then I will, uh, next time I start with a new analysis, it will just load uh, this one. Okay, so let's say I save, uh, well, I should save, uh, normally it is a good thing to save the analysis near where the data file is, so you can move both together. So I say, my c dot par. I use the dot par, so especially on Mac, uh, uh, double clicking the dot par will open automatically. Mount and load it. Okay. Um, 